Give me a sense of the scale of the insurance damage that we're looking at here. It's, it's massive. And if you look at Southwest Florida, they were getting winds that were essentially category five, um, 160, 170 mile an hour winds, you know, homes have just been leveled, power's out everywhere. And, you know, I saw the comments earlier from Governor DeSantis about the flood um, that has really hit the entire state. I, I agree, this is like a 500 year storm on the flood side. So the damage is gonna be here for a while. It's gonna take years to rebuild this. And this is a storm that unfortunately is, is probably the worst one that we've had in Florida in, in decades. The cost of it alone, given what you're seeing in terms of pressure, inflationary pressures that consumers are feeling outside of this event, how damaging is this for households and is insurance going to cut it? Is the government going to have to step in in a bigger way here? Yeah, that's a, that's a very excellent point. The state of Florida has got to have to step up now. Uh, they've been warned by the insurance industry for the last 10 years, especially the last five years, about the rampant fraud, runaway litigation. You know, Florida is 8% of the homeowners' claims and 76% of all the lawsuits nationwide. Um, those abuses have weakened the Florida insurance industry for quite some time. We've had record failures. The market's on the verge of collapse, and they're going to have to step in in a big way this year to make some serious reforms. What impact do you think this is going to have on the housing market, Bruce? It, it's, this is going to kill the housing market. If there's no Florida homeowners market, then uh, our insurance market, there's, there's no real estate market, no construction market. Uh, it's going to have a big, big hit on, on home sales. We're already dealing with the highest premiums in the history of Florida. Uh, our customers, for example, on average, are paying about $4,000 a year. And left unabated without some government intervention, I think that'll be eight to ten thousand in the next 24 months. Higher insurance rates, if you can even find it, means that you can afford less on the home purchase. So this is going to be a big hit to the housing market without some type of government intervention. Intervention. How long does that intervention have to last for? To your point, there's multiple areas of the economy that are getting getting hit really hard. And so to the extent that this is going to keep consumers in a real crunch, while premiums are set to likely rise in the wake of this after massive payouts, while they're also facing issues when it comes to affordability of homes, where does the aid come from first? Yeah, it's got to come from the state level in the form of tort reform, and reinsurance capacity at an affordable price. You know, Florida is very unique. We have a, a vehicle here called the Florida Hurricane Catastrophe Fund. It provides uh, subsidized reinsurance to the insurance market here. That gets passed, those savings get passed on to the homeowner. And they're gonna have to step up in a big way using the catastrophe fund. It's gonna have to get expanded. It's gonna have to lower the price of reinsurance. And if you don't do that, the pressures on the consumer are only going to mount from here and you know, it threatens the entire economy in Florida at this point. So it's gonna take bold, decisive action. They could have fixed this years ago with a small action. That's off the table now. And we'll, we'll see how plugged in the leadership is, but I think very. And I, I do expect them to step up in a big way to help Florida consumers. Is there an expectation, is there a realization in Florida that this is now the new normal, Bruce, that we are gonna see Category four, category five hurricanes becoming significantly more regular. You know, you, you have to believe in global warming. That trend is real, it's happening. It, it's definitely increasing, you know, atmospheric temperatures, sea surface temperatures that drive these major events. Um, I would caution though, anyone that thinks that this is the new normal. I think that there are periods of quiescence and periods of a, a lot of severe convective activity you know, we, we went through this in 2004, 2005, and the new normal was going to be three hurricanes a year. We went 12 years without one. And so, you know, we're just in a, in a bit of an active cycle right now. But I think the new normal that's set into Florida is that Florida consumers are being crushed by runaway litigation, higher reinsurance costs, and, and you know, property damage that they have to go out of pocket to cover. And mm -hmm. that's the new normal.